A new diet is trending with those who want to lose weight. It's called the keto diet. It's high fat, low carb. But what do doctors say? Is it worth your effort and will it work? Dr Tamara Hunter is in now. Hello Tamara, tell us what is a keto diet? Yeah, hi Jerry. Well a keto diet or ketogenic diet is a diet that is high in fats, it's low in carbohydrates and often has moderate amount of protein. And the normally carbohydrates is what provides us with energy. Carbohydrates are broken down to glucose and provide us with uh, energy. But in a low carbohydrate environment we tend to process fat and we produce ketone bodies, hence the ketogenic diet. And the reason that it has come about in weight loss circles is that it's turning us into, I guess, a fat-burning machine. But not only that, it's thought to modulate those hormones that are associated with appetite and feeling of hunger so that, in fact, people are stopping eating sooner and being satiated longer between meals. Before, before it's used for weight loss in this way, though, doctors have been using keto diets for years in treatment. Yes, ketogenic diets have been used for a few decades now. Um, we know that ketones cross the blood-brain barrier and we know that, uh, say, refractory, refractory epilepsy, for example, has been treated with a ketogenic diet uh, with good, uh, good effect. There are other neurological diseases that we're seeing, seeing ketogenic diets used more and more and, in fact, some metabolic diseases as well. Well. But keeping in mind this is in a well-controlled medical environment with very rigid monitoring um, and assistance by uh, accredited dietitians as well. Doctor, is the high fat element of this diet safe? Well, certainly for a long time, high, fi high fat diets have been associated with cardiovascular disease, uh, diabetes, weight gain and also cancer. But we're starting to learn, particularly with high fat leading to high calories, we're starting to learn that perhaps, in fact, um, obesity due to high calories is due to the processed sugars that we're consuming in our diet. The relationship of high fat and cancer is a little bit more dubious. Certainly colorectal cancer or a family history of, I probably wouldn't adopt a ketogenic diet. And as far as the relationship between um, a high fat diet and say high blood cholesterol, in fact new research is suggesting that if you choose the right kind of fats, predominantly polyunsaturated fats, you could actually improve those good cholesterol and reduce the triglycerides or bad fats in your diet. Always good to hear from you Dr Tamara Hunter, thank you for the advice. My pleasure.